Well, we all love good food, but these days we also want to eat at spots that look good. Restaurants and bars are noticing our Instagram obsession, and it is actually changing how they develop restaurants. We visited some Instagram worthy spots here in New Orleans to find out how social media is impacting the way they design their spaces. A conversation about Instagram and restaurants has to start with Jack Rose in the Pontchartrain Hotel. This spot is all over social media, specifically this painting of rapper Lil Wayne by New Orleans artist Ashley Longshore. The intention was never to be an Instagrammable hot spot, um, but there was just some magic that occurred with the initial design here. Jeffrey Couture with the Pontchartrain Hotel says that society's Instagram obsession is changing how the concepts for restaurants are developed. I think the, the bar has been raised over the years in restaurants and hospitality to create spaces that are curated very intelligently and, and uh, for a specific audience um, and to have an aesthetic that is memorable. At La Vie and Rose Cafe, the owner knows that when a space looks good, people want to stay longer. Kirby Jones moved her Creole coffee shop to the Soleil apartment building on Annunciation about two months ago. She's added bits and pieces of old school New Orleans. And that's the vibe that I want for here. I want that experience here of like authentic New Orleans, still with the splash of like new things and and just fun. The La Vie and Rose sign screams take a picture here and the counter is like a secret garden. Our drinks are really Instagrammable. We have beautiful floral rose cold brew. We steep rose petals into Louisiana cane syrup and we add that to the coffee. And you can take a selfie or choose another image to put in the froth on your drinks. Let's keep it pretty and move over to the Peacock Room at Hotel Fontenot on Chapa Tulis. Jessica Retief with Hotel Fontenot points out that the hotel has a more modern feel, but the Peacock Room is like stepping into a jewel box. We have this lovely lounge area back back here in the corner with the sofas and there's just all these little hidden jewels with the bird cages and the knickknacks and the books and the lampshades and the pillows and there's just so much going on. The inspiration behind the entire vibe is an art piece called the Peacock Room. So of course at the Peacock Room we have several peacocks. We've got Clarence, Clarence and Clarence. This one's everyone's favorite. You can get real up close to it. Next, we head to the corner of Rampart and Elysian Fields for NOLA Art Bar. Owner DJ Johnson also owns the bookstore Baldwin & Co. right across the courtyard, and now he's bringing books into a bar atmosphere. Well, we want to stimulate the mind through literature and libations. He designed his space with Instagram in mind. There's amazing art inside and outside, and even the book selections inspire you to snap a photo. The curation of the books, if you look at some of the curation of the books, and they have funny titles, as well as the genres that we put, so we don't have just a fiction genre, we don't have this like a New Orleans local genre so that genre is like things you miss about New Orleans or things that make you think about New Orleans. He changes up the space every few months to keep it fresh. If hashtag brunch is more your speed, head to Birdies on Magazine. The space proves that restaurants are being strategic about creating memorable visual moments. Creative director Kara McGuire and artist Ashley Arsenault Jones were brought in as Birdies was being designed to make sure that the restaurant gave customers an experience. I think there's no denying that we live in a digital world where people are on Instagram and they are seeing and there's it's easy marketing. It's a way to get a quick, oh, what was that cute space? I want to be in that space. I want to be in that environment. And there are a lot of elements that make you want to be in birdies. We have the wallpaper. We have the swing. We have the menus, the breakfast menu, lunch menu, drink menu, kids menu. Um, we have the decals on the doors and we have a ton of little birdies uh, hanging and hiding in special places around the restaurant. So as you head to Jack Rose, La Vie and Rose, the Peacock Room, NOLA Art Bar, or Birdies to strategically pose for your next Instagram photo, know that these businesses are also being strategic about how they lure us into their spaces. This was so fun to put together. For a list of these locations, you can find this story on our website, www.tv.com. And shout out to my photographer, Chris Russell, who I also included in there. Do they see that snap in front that, of Nola yeah. Art Bar? I had to get him in there. He put in a lot of work on this piece. Well, now I know where to go to, to do my Instagram photos. That's right, it's and be I'll good. be your photographer, Eric. And you know <laughs> I love taking Instagram photos, but I did this story because a lot of people do, and it really got me thinking on the business side if these restaurants were planning this or if it was happening accidentally. See, and the pictures I usually get at a restaurant, I take pictures of the food because I want to remember a lot of people so do that yeah. too, and that's why they have spaces where they're putting like pictures go. on your coffee.